Sonnet 4.5 just dropped, and what I want to know is whether this model is actually the best coding model in the world. So in this video, I'll be putting Sonnet 4.5 against my favorite coding model right now, which is Opus 4.1 in tasks such as adding new feature, bug fixing, refactor, and identifying performance bottlenecks as well as fixing them. What I will not be doing is using these models on random throwaway projects. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use them on a project I've been working on called Claude Maestro. And if you haven't been following me so far, Claude Maestro is basically an open AI codex clone for Claude code. Basically, it helps you manage multiple instances of Claude code. I'll start by giving each model the same commands and prompts and we'll move forward from there. So for the first test, I'm gonna be doing a complete UI redesign of the task details page, as you can see here. What I want is something similar to cursor's agent view, like this, where we have a three column setup. The left side is your chats, in the middle is your chat history, and on the right side is going to be your diff view, or if in plan mode, the whole right side is going to just be consumed by the markdown file. Rather than having the markdown file inside the chat here, it's going to be on the side. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use my three-step agentic coding workflow process, which is going to take me through the research, plan, and implementation phase. I'm gonna start by using my research command and pass in a prompt. And what this is going to do is just gonna analyze the prompt and flesh out all the features that's needed, as well as doing research on the web, in your code base, in the libraries that you have, and that all relevant information is collected and neatly formatted into a markdown file that can then be passed into my create plan command. It's gonna take this research file and it's going to create multiple plans in order to implement this particular feature. And the reason why I like having it generate multiple plans is basically it gives me checkpoints in terms of, okay, each plan is gonna complete a certain part and it's not gonna break the whole project. I will also have a lot more control over my context usage. For each plan, I will be executing my implement command. And I'm doing this for Sonnet 4.5 and Opus 4.1. Here's the result for Sonnet 4.5. You can see that it did a wonderful job creating three column layout, but there is issue at the bottom here where I know the exact problem. This is a gradient fade in that I previously had in the chat history, which can easily be fixed. I am I am really happy though that it did put the plan and code mode down here next to the chat box. Same with the number of instance and execute plan button. The overall architecture and the look and feel of it is mostly there and I can work with that. You're probably thinking, okay, that's great for Sonnet 4.5, but what about Opus 4.1? Obviously, surely you'll get something good out of it. And the answer is no, actually, it broke the project. For this test, at the end, once I implemented all six plans that it generated for me, the only reason this failed was because of the last two plans that I implemented. Now, if I reverted my changes back to after I implemented part four plan from Opus, then we get this UI, which is honestly much worse than Sonnet 4.5. And you can see like there's a lot of issues here. Now you're probably thinking Sonnet 4.5 is clearly the winner. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Let me tell you, you might be surprised with some of the next tests. Okay, let's fix some bugs. Basically when tool calls from Cloud Code SDK bubbles up to the front end, it shows up as words by themselves. Ideally, what I want is consecutive tool calls message to be collapsed into a single message, which only show the last tool that was used. Now let's just go ahead and see what Sonnet and Opus does in order to fix this issue. I already written up the prompt, so I'm gonna go ahead and execute that. For Sonnet, you can see that it did not fix the consecutive tool calls here, but it did add the correct formatting that I wanted, which would be having the tool wording. Unfortunately, Opus ended up not actually get to the point where it even implemented the correct formatting for the tool calls, let alone collapsing all the consecutive tool calls to a single message. Both of them didn't really 100% fix the underlying issue I asked it to do, but Sonnet 4.5 did manage to get the formatting somewhat correctly. But now let's see how these models fare when it comes to refactoring the code base. For this round, I'm gonna have both model refactor parts of the notification system I've implemented in Claude Maestro. Currently, there's two systems. There's the desktop notification and then there's the toast. But I wanna 
combine those two into one where, for example, if the application is not focused and a toast needs to be shown, there should be an option to allow Cloud Maestro to send desktop notification to let the users know a task is complete or something has failed. So something surprising happened here. Sonnet 4.5 actually failed at refactoring this task. It tried to use a non-existent IPC call, which is very weird. I thought it would be better at looking through my code base and seeing what's already existed. However, with Opus 4.1, this in fact did work. It actually did a much better job at refactoring the code base than Sonnet 4.5. It not only combined the toast and the desktop notification system into a single unified system, it also made sure all the calls across the whole application is used using this new unified system, which is exactly what I expected it should be doing. This round, surprisingly, will have to go to Opus 4.1. But before I jump to any conclusions, there is one more test I want to run, and that is going to be finding performance bottleneck and also fixing them. And this bottleneck is a little weird. Basically what's happening is whenever the application start up, it has to verify like all the API keys are valid for other models and also like grabbing all the Git branches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in this prompt that I already written up. I'm just gonna have it run. I think Sonnet 4.1 did pretty good. You can see that there's a loading state for the Git branch picker as well as the model picker as well. As for what Opus did, it did the exact same thing that Sonnet 4.5 did. So this round is a complete draw. All right, now that we went through all the tests and all the comparisons, What's the verdict? Sonnet 4.5 is not only the better model, it is faster and it is better in terms of quality. What I forgot to mention is that in the first test, when I was implementing a new feature, Opus took twice as long to implement the feature than Sonnet did. This is really awesome for those who are on a lower tier subscription and not on like the Anthropic Max plan. I can't wait to see what they come out with the next iteration of Opus and how it will completely smash Sonnet 4.5 out of the water. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're curious about the AI coding tools I've used this year so far, then definitely check out this video right here. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Peace.